Hello and welcome to the channel, it's The Eradicator and in this video we are going to talk about Star Citizen of a 3.17.4 because we've had the confirmation on Twitter by none other than Xylo that the Drake Corsair will not be coming with 3.18 as originally scheduled but will indeed come at the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo with Star Citizen of a 3.17.4. It's not a surprise, the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo is always one of those big events, if not the, the biggest event of the year when it comes to Star Citizen sales. They are selling all the ships and they want to create hype as well with newly released ships, especially popular ones like the Drake Corsair, which players have been waiting for a very long time. So that's Really not a surprise, but could there be, however, actual surprises? Could there be other items from Star Citizen of a 3.18 that could possibly slip into 3.17.4? which was supposed to have been released already, by the way. Well, it seems that we have a couple of cars that are committed here for 3.18, and it seems that it's quite reasonable to imagine that some of those cars that do not require persistent integer streaming might make it into 3.17.4 to make the player base wait a little bit more for the long-awaited patch. And so, some of these cards, I believe, could be, for example, the Daymar Crash Site, which we've seen for a long time, right? I don't think it requires persistence entity streaming. It's going to be one of those locations that are going to have a couple of missions, you know, recovery missions or delivery missions or kill missions. Uh, you don't need the persistence for that. And it's going to be a cool new place for players to go. So I don't see why not. Next, I think that we could perhaps see the Grey Cat PTV race as well. This is also something that players have been um, not necessarily anticipating, but uh, some players are excited about it. It's also committed. It seems to be quite close to release. And it's going to be a really fun thing to do when it's going to be happening. Now, where is the Intergalactic uh, Expo going to be taking place? Is it going to be again at Horizon? So I think it would be great if it could be at Horizon. And we could also have the racetrack at the same place. I think that it could be a, a wonderful opportunity to introduce that racetrack. And people would be having some fun over there while seeing the ships at the same time. Um, I, I think that would be a smart move. But... Yeah, let me know in the comment section down below if you think that it's going to be at Origin as well, or if you've heard anything about it. I personally have not. Uh, I don't think, however, that we're going to get the security post-career reactivation and the prison sandbox activities. These would probably require items to persist, so that's, that's, totally, uh, that's totally fine. Could we see some of the new missions at Origin as well? Uh, that remains uh, to be seen, but so far these are quite tentative as well, so I don't think we're going to be seeing any of those there. And obviously we're not going to be seeing uh, Persistent Entity Streaming, right, because that's for 3.18. But uh, we could also see some straight to drivable vehicles. As we said in the previous video, there are a couple of rumors as well, so that's also something that you should be on the lookout. Usually there's always a little uh, Star Citizen of a 3. Uh, on X.X X patch for the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo so that they introduce the new ships into the verse and fix a couple of bugs because this is usually a free fly event as well and they want to give players an experience that is as polished as possible. But anyway guys, that's it for this short video but let me know in the comment section down below guys which other items apart from the Drake Corsair do you think are going to make it into 3.17.4? Do you think we're going to have any other surprises? Well, if you let me know and subscribe to the channel, you can get a chance to win a Spirit C1 with the LTI. Also, feel free to join our Discord channel where we have a wonderful community there, the Rat Club, where we have another giveaway there. It's an a1 that I'm giving away there. All you have to do is to uh, join our Discord channel and our video sharing contest over there to get a chance to entry, or you can also become a Patreon member. Guys, thank you so much for watching as always. It's been the Eradicator. I wanted to give a big shout out to uh, all of my Patreons without whom I would not be able to make all of that content, obviously, and these include Dr. Fobin, Captain Steak, Geek Citizen, Zero Crusher, and Wolfpack Pug. It's been the Eradicator. I will see you guys later.